Hey everybody, Dave here with a brand new video on the channel from 1320 Challenge. So, a lot of you have been asking for it. I kind of forgot to do it. Um, the update video on the SRT4 ratios. Because I told you guys there would be a V2 of those ratios when I got them even better. And I got them even better. Now, remember, not everybody's computer is the same. You will have to slightly tweak the final drive ratio to probably get the car to be where it needs to be. Also, if I have like a random cough or something that suddenly just appears, I'll try to mute the mic, but I've had a sinus infection and double ear infection. Trust me, I'm not happy. Anyway, so let's go over the car today. As you can see, 700 horsepower. I did say one wrong part in the last video. My bad. But I choose to use the Phantom gauges with the shift light. It's helpful. 555R tires, intake system, carbon fiber hood is optional, I don't run it, it doesn't actually remove weight, it's visual, <coughs> um, exhaust is N1 and catalytic converter, drivetrain is the clutch, uh, the, the, I don't think it actually matters which one you use, I haven't had a difference noticed, but you do need magic gearbox and you do need the flywheel. Um, it does remove weight, so that's why you do need to have those. You need to have the 200 shot of NOS. You need to have either the RPF1s, TE37s, P1s, or ZR2, not ZR2s. Do not have these. One of these three. And then as far as suspension, you need the springs and coilovers. Throttle body, oil cooler, high flow injectors, head work, fuel pump, displacement, cams, uh, cam gears and the pistons as long as you have one of them it doesn't matter electronics are spark plugs wire set drag ignition ecu upgrade ecu chip the direct fuel injection system this was the wrong part last time you want to have the direct fuel injection boost controller isn't really needed you do not need the tec3 use the direct fuel injection as far as force induction intercooler bov turbo kit and t51 that's everything you need. Then from there, make sure your oil life is at 1% because at the moment, um, that means no engine damage ever. I'm still going to fix my 0.5H, uh, my 3 HP that I'm missing, and obviously make sure your NOS bottle is full. For the sake of the video, I am using Infinite NOS. That's just so I don't have to keep coming in and refilling and then backing out. So your uh, dyno, make sure it's 635 or 700 right here. That's how you know the setup is correct. You still want to relog after installing all the parts just to be safe uh, to make sure everything does apply. I do have a fix for that, but we can't release an update on the game client just yet. I want to figure out a way to protect the game client first. So that's the reason there hasn't been an update probably in a while. That's one of the many reasons. Suspension doesn't seem to matter. Um, boost controller, make sure it's 21. And then the gear ratios, the moment you've all been waiting for. There you go. Those are the ratios you wanted, right? So they've changed quite a bit. And I want to thank Bevins uh, because him and I sat on a uh, voice chat together for a good couple hours and my ratios changed a whole ton because he gave me the tip of uh, raising the first gear to something astronomical and astronomical for everybody is going to be a little bit different and the thing that's really nice about these ratios is first gear can be played with so can final drive but as long as you are finishing the race at 159.2 ish give or take like 0.2 miles per hour, as long as you're at that 159 point something, that seems to be the sweet spot with these ratios. But you can mess with first gear, you can mess with final drive, the rest of it is pretty much kind of set in stone for what I was able to achieve. So let's go hit a racetrack and let's see if I, uh, let's see if I embarrass myself. With an engine damage run, which is very, very, very rare, on this car i've only had it once and it was on my lower 
uh, lower refresh rate monitor because those lower refresh rate monitors seem to have issues with the game. Um, I have hit 7.913 once. I do have good luck hitting 7.95s fairly frequently. With a little bit more tweaking, maybe V3 of these ratios, I do think 7.94 frequently is possible engine damage runs do see 7.91 um super lucky perfectly executed runs do see 7.93 maybe once a week depending on how much you race let's say you do 100 races in a week you might see a 7.93 if you race absolutely perfectly so Let's go. I'm going to teach you guys how to race it, how to launch everything. Set your shift light. Hold on. Oh my god, sorry. Coughing fit. Set your shift light to whatever you are comfortable with. Until I was comfortable looking for it, I actually had it set at 5950 because you want to shift like right at 6 grand or just past it, but very much barely past it if you can get first gear to over rev you will be faster but that is very very rare use case um generally my fastest runs it doesn't seem to matter i like setting it at 6000 because i'm used to it now oh my god i'm gonna die hold on all right for the least amount of lag you do want to make sure sound effects are on then relog if you had them off Relog to turn them back on. From there, clutch up. And there's something a little bit different about this car than nearly every other car in the game that I'm going to show you. So stage as far back as possible. And you want to rev somewhere like 2400. 2400, 2500. For some odd reason, seem to get better results on ETs if I rev this car. I've ran many races in this car a whole butt ton of races you never set the winnings back to what they're supposed to be you said this was until monday like a week and a half ago okay anyway um but yeah revving the srt4 for some odd reason seems to give better results And realistically, what you want to do is you just want to keep max boost for as long as possible, or this needle at least as high as possible. There is a point of no return. I did end up finding that. Um, it was something like a final drive of 3.5. 3.8 seems pretty magical. But, oh, I fouled. But you want to get this shift pretty much bang on with your shift light. And even then, I'm running a little bit slow right now, actually. It kind of seems to depend. I haven't had that many runs today, so I'm not very warmed up. But, as you can see, I did already have a 7.96 very easily. I'm shifting terribly. This is why I kind of wish I had a bot for these videos. So I could like show what the car can do, and it's not showing off human error. But, whatever. It does take quite a few races for me to get used to it. I just had some weird game lag. If that would have happened when I launched, I would have had definitely an ED run. Anybody else running AMD graphics cards on their computers have issues lately with OBS crashing the video card driver? There we go. Another... Happy quad time family right there. <clears throat> but I think I've gotten my point across. I would like to get like a 795 on video. I don't think I've done it yet. I've done it during like streaming. But most people can't touch me in this car. 
Now, like I said, change your final drive, tweak it just a little bit to get about the same mile per hour that I'm getting. Every computer is different. Every monitor is different. And I've definitely proven that somewhat lately with a lot of testing of playing on my TV versus playing on my actual high refresh rate monitor. Very different outcomes as far as how the game reacts for some odd reason on those monitors. So if I could stop fouling, that'd be great. I'm kind of not really thinking about it right now. I'm more interested in ETs, but 7983, I'm I'm doing all right right now, you know? It's not anything I'm going to be mad about. <clears throat> Let me see. I stuffed one of those shifts. That shift light was on for way too long. But even then, like you can tell that if I Even with bad shifts, I'm hitting seven nine eights, which there's a lot of people wondering how I even hit seven nine nines. So here's your answer is these ratios. Wow, that was terrible. Let me do one race for sure. One or two races in a row here for sure. No talking. Right, fully focus. And we'll see what ET I can get. <clears throat> there we go. Never, another 9.6. It also doesn't help that my mouse sucks. I'm using the cheapest Logitech you can buy. I stuffed first gear. It's really the first three gears that are the most important. Look at that. Quad timing my butt off. But I'm still doing well, so it doesn't matter. Jesus Christ, what is that? Three races in a row of seven nine six seven? My very first race today launching the game was a 7950. And now I can't do it again now that I actually want to show it off and give people the ratios. But that's okay. This has hit 794s, it's hit 793s, and it very much likes 796s. <clears throat> At least on my computer. So. Oh, God, terrible. I wasted two shifts. Still 796. Like It's like I said, it doesn't matter. These ratios are so good that they just match up with the game wonderfully. Oh, I stuffed first gear. That would have been a good one. For sure. Oh, I'm at 13 minutes on this video. I don't even need to be recording anymore. Oh, well. Anyway. I need to go get ready for work, but I wanted to get this video out because V2 of these ratios, a lot of people are asking for them, so video hopefully over. Let's hope this is a good ET. I don't want to end on a bad one, you know? There it is. I told you, if I'm ready to end the video, I'll get a good ET. 7951, these are 795 ratios by anybody better than me at racing. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy these ratios. Uh, finally give me some competition because I'm getting lonely out here at the top of the leaderboard. Knock me down a peg and make me make these ratios better. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.